What if I told you I discovered a perimeter lockdown build that had post-scoring takeover? Contact dunks. A perimeter lockdown build that can handle the ball like a guard has all the speed you could possibly want to absolutely torch defenders and is an absolute knockdown shooter. Now clearly this is a rare build, but when I was told a perimeter lockdown build with post-scoring takeover, it reminded me of a build I played on back in 2K19. I don't know if anyone remembers this video. Double takeover, 95 overall, post-scoring, lockdown defender. Alright, well this build is nothing like that build, okay? But when I first heard the name and the takeover and everything, that's what I thought of. But you're gonna see very quickly why this is nothing like that one back on 2K19. But man, I do miss those double archetypes and the double takeover. Having lock and post score takeover back on 19 on that build was like the most toxic thing you have ever seen. It was, if anyone remembers that game, those were two of the best takeovers and having them on one player, it was crazy. But listen, Make sure y'all drop a like on the video, man. Take two seconds and drop a like for me. It really helps the video out. But without further ado, let's look at this perimeter lock. Post scoring takeover, we got close shot, we got contact dunks, we got standing dunk, post hook, beautiful mid range, a high three pointer, really high post fade. You got ball handling, pass accuracy, a little bit of post moves. But it's called the perimeter lock. Look at that defense. It, you know, I mean, yeah, we got perimeter lateral and steel. But we don't really have anything else. Maybe a little, you know, 42 interior, 32 block, 33 rebound. You know, it's not something you would typically see on a lockdown build. And that's why I say this is nothing like that 19 build. I thought it was going to be, but look at the badges, man. We got one defensive badge on a perimeter lock. How does that work? So it's really a catfish build. Like people are gonna think you're a defensive build, but you're really an offensive build. Like you got great post scoring, great dunking great shooting great ball handling and very little defense but yet they call you a perimeter lock now i'm gonna tell you right now having the post scoring takeover makes it a very very unique build because post scoring takeover is really really broken but on top of that the catfish aspect provides a whole nother layer to this whole video all right so make sure y'all drop a like shout out to my boy stb shooter for hooking me up with the build i'm gonna leave the link to his tiktok in the description if you guys want any more info or to see the build you know more in depth you can go check out his tiktok that'll be in the description but without further ado let's get into some gameplay so first things first i gotta test out every aspect of the build in the first game all right so I, you know i don't change any animations jump shot dribble move all that i keep whatever the person has on their build because it's their build i want to test out exactly how they use it right so you see i see the dribbling you know he's got different sigs on than what i use on my players with a little step back pull up so i'm seeing the driving ability i'm seeing the shooting ability I, that's all stuff that i expected right you know like that's typical on a build like this we already know but now i'm starting to see okay they see perimeter lock i'm dunking the ball a lot they're leaving me wide open another step back pull up is white look at this thing about it touches every single inch of the rim still goes out now we got the takeover now we start to test out the unique aspects look at this i'm gonna throw him out of the way with the post takeover drive in contact dunk on the center and this is on a build called a perimeter lock bro i can only imagine how many times people message this guy asking him what build that is how do you make that build because i see a lot of people posting catfish builds and all this type of, you know best catfish build this is the perfect catfish build bro this one i think takes the cake because <laughs> it is super unique but check it out game number two right pulling up from three knocking it down tween cross drive and get the easy dunk we're gonna really start testing out the ability of this build to iso in this game right big cross behind the back big cross crossover like we're we're starting to shift people i'm starting to really get the rhythm of how to use these sigs then we go right into the post right little shimmy drop step double team has to come like if you have a guard on you this build can score in the post 
all day long. And then literally like once or twice a game, people would just sit in the paint and just leave me wide open like this. They don't know that I got an 83 pointer. Like it's such a catfish build. It just, it plays with people's emotions. I'm not gonna lie. Look at what we're doing out here. We're doing some behind the back, spin back, big cross, pull up, knock it down. 16 to two, we're not done. Cross back, behind the back, crossover, big cross, tween cross, big cross, behind the back, tween cross, stop, big cross, behind the back, tween cross. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. As if we didn't torture this poor man enough, we're gonna go cross back, behind the back, cross over, run past him, big cross to crab him and pull up, bro. If I had a post scoring perimeter lockdown ice wing me like this, I would feel some type of way. Like you're not supposed to be doing that on a lockdown. And it's not even really a lockdown because he's got post take, but it's like an offensive. I what, what do we even call it, bro? What do we even call it? Game number three. Now, game number three, we didn't start with the ball. And you're going to see, even with one defensive badge, I mean, I feel like I got through that screen pretty well. I still got a hand up to contest the shot. I think he has max wingspan or close to it. So that's one thing that does help you despite only having one defensive badge. You know, you, you, with the long arms, you can still get contests and steals because you, you do have decent, you know, perimeter defense and steal ratings. It's just you only have the one badge on defense. So that's like kind of a disadvantage. But people, a lot of people won't even go at you because they think you're a lockdown they see the name perimeter lock they're like oh man he, he's got 20 hall of fame defensive badges we'll try to iso the other guy or, or whatever the hell their plan is you know what i mean but look it offensively i was killing people like whether it was in the post on the perimeter dunking on people standing dunks you get driving contact dunks as you saw in the first game the dribbling is is more than good enough you know you got the 90 speed like you got everything you could really want it's it's definitely a unique build now have i played on better like more comp builds of course but if you're looking for something fun and different this is definitely a viable option because there's so many unique factors to it the catfish the takeover the uh shooting a on a build that people wouldn't really expect it on and then on top of it like you get contact dunks contact dunks are always fun look at post hook from the free throw line at this point they're throwing double teams my way i'm scoring anyways it does not matter i'm feeling unstoppable and then we give the ball up once and it's 20 to 15 we end up getting the stop i'm gonna just iso this dude run left run right speed boosting all over the place get the easy dunk wrap that game up 22 to 15 we got one more game for you now let me just say when i first heard about the build it reminded me of 2k9 I don't know if any of y'all watched me in 2K19, but I made that video. I called it the most toxic build in 2K19 because back then, 6'10 locks were probably the best overall build in the game. Like, you could do everything on a 6'10 lock. And post takeover was the most overpowered takeover in 2K19. So the 6'10 post scoring lockdown defender was like the most toxic thing you could see because you're basically a 6'10 pure lock. But in that game, once you hit 95 overall, whatever your primary and secondary archetype was, you would have double takeover. So you were a 6'10 pure lock with lock take and post take. And when I first heard about this build, he was telling me like, I'm a perimeter lockdown, but I have post takeover. I could shoot really good. I'm like, yo, this is sounded like that 2K19 build. Then when I saw the build, I was like, damn, he only has one defensive badge. So it's not as OP as the 19 build. The 19 build was like super broken, especially for twos. But this build, you know, it, it gives that impression to people playing against it because they see the name but then if you knew what the build was it only has the one defensive badge so it's not quite but catfish wise you can make people think about it for sure they're gonna be like damn he's got defense and post take and he can shoot and he's getting contact dunks he's drop stepping me getting standing dunks on me like he, this build i mean they they end up leaving me open because they're like well i can't stop him in the paint so let's see if he can shoot little do they know i have an 83 pointer they send a double team damn near every game especially once i get the post take like i was out here killing people on this build there wasn't much they could do they're sending double teams no matter what and it literally i could score if i want or i could just pass to my teammate i mean look at this even without takeover they're still double teaming me when we have 20 points makery waits to see if they'll go guard him and then you know he could pass the ball back i could post up again try to get another clip but he just ends it you know he just shoots it whatever they're gonna double team they're gonna double team so shout out to sdb shooter appreciate him letting me use this really rare unique catfish build like i said i'm gonna leave the link to his tiktok in the description if you guys want to see more about this build more info on it how to create it uh see more clips more gameplay whatever y'all want the link to his tiktok will be in the description i appreciate y'all watching this video if you haven't already make sure y'all drop a like subscribe if you guys are new man we're trying our best to keep this game interesting i know i haven't been posting that much but it's just because 
I'm not gonna post stuff that's just not entertaining. I'd rather just kind of do one or two videos a week and at least have the videos be quality as opposed to just posting whatever because I gotta get videos out, man. But I appreciate all the support. We're gonna make it through 2K22. Hopefully 23 is lit, but we're gonna get through this. Appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.